Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel and in this video we are going to look at how we can calculate uh, the slope area, okay, uh, if we have benching, okay, so this is the question by one of our viewers, uh, I will just pin it somewhere here and you will see it, see the question, okay, so uh, this one right now is default one, in the previous video I have shown how we can, uh, we can have uneven slope benchings okay and of the different ways so i will put that video in the description below and you can watch it before watch it that and then we i will just skip through this that process and i will just only focus on create uh finding the area so for this particular part i'm just considering uh left side the the alignment goes like this so this is the left side and i will just focus maybe from 160 to uh, 1160 this chain is to maybe just this chain is this is for just for demo purpose so first thing i will do is i will just uh, you know uh, check which uh, i will split this region here so let's split it because i want only at certain location this i will just one here and then another split i will just put it from here okay okay so it is skip and then I have the um, I have the region required for this particular task. Then what I want to do is I want to see this particular region which assembly is being used for this particular region. Okay, the parameter. So I will just select this. Okay, this one. This is the one. So I will just rename it so that I don't get confused. I would say it's blanching maybe. Blanching. Okay. okay 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 so this one is the assembly that we are using basic assembly okay cool now let me change the assembly so if i zoom out here here i have the assembly okay so this one is the basic assembly okay and this one is another one i think copy of that one yeah okay copy of that yes assembly one Okay, so let me just uh, create assembly. I will just copy it quickly. We copy it, okay, and then I just put it here. And now I will fast forward the process of uh, creating this assembly with uh, uneven benches size and everything. Uh, I will put the in the description the video, and you can go and watch it. And then after that, you can continue with this video. Okay, so I will uh, just pause this video, fast forward pause this video from here and then once it's completed i will just apply to it okay okay so i have now defined the slope and the benching for each of these and width so even for this part if you see it's not totally horizontal if you go to here i have already defined it and you can check the video in the description to understand how uh, i have clearly uh, explained it in that video how to create this and what is the meaning of these Furthermore, now we have to understand more how we can get the area. So in each of these, even in the normal ones, if, if you just let me hit escape and this one, click this one, select this one and go to the properties. Here, if you scroll down, you will have material thickness. Okay, so these are the line materials that you can define in all the uh, daylighting that we have available uh, by default. So for this one also we can do the same so if you can define the material then you can calculate the material as well okay so this is what we can use to calculate these okay so let's select this particular uh daylighting and then i go back here I, I, as you can see here i have defined the slope cut slope for this one this particular is 1.5 is to 1 and this part is 50 is to 1 so depending upon these i will define my materials accordingly okay the first material maybe i, I say is this one because i will i will go from uh smile slope to more more slope you know like a steep slope mild slope to a steep slope okay so let's go here so here my slope the mildest among all i have defined is 50 is to 1 okay so till that limit this particular material thickness will be applied okay so if you are putting the same material thickness in each of it then there's no problem okay then it can be it will it will be fine okay and then thickness of this material will be how much we put it as uh, uh, maybe 0.1 if you have the same material you can define the same thickness okay? and then material name also i'll just keep it as riprap uh, whatever it's written i'll just keep it as is 
and then here I see 1.5 is to 1 and there is 2 is to 1 that I have defined okay so I will do the same here I will say 1.5 is to 1 for the next one and thickness may be 0.1 same okay and then for another one also I will have now I have another slope uh, so it's 2 is to 1 I think so we put 2 is to 1 okay that's it and it's 1 okay so you can change the names and I will keep the names as it is like uh, so that you can uh, in the case you have uh, different materials okay uh, I will just say this one as a uh, reply maybe 2 okay something like that so that we know exactly which one which slope has which material okay that's it that's fine we have defined it now it's uh, uh, for us the time to apply this particular okay let's go so we select the region where you want to apply this particular part only so we'll go to the corridor properties and here we have already changed uh, we didn't change this okay this particular part is there we haven't changed it no problem i will just select the best assembly basic assembly i will select this particular assembly here and say okay after you select go to the select all targets because that particular may not have uh, the target selected so i'll just confirm it and say okay and then apply and reveal the corridor okay so the corridor has been uh earlier i had the seat number so it's creating a problem no problem for this okay uh let's just click here i think slower there's some problem okay so i say okay and and let it load it's a bit getting okay now you see here we have the benching it can be seen okay if you if you just uh can go to the object viewer you will see the benching is here uh, yeah here you see the benching okay correctly applied no problem we just close it and we go to the cross sections to verify it it's around 1200 channels so we'll go to the 1200 okay we go to the 1200 somewhere here yeah 1200 here it is even going beyond this particular we are not concerned about this now right now i'll just hide it so uh temporarily hide it so we can see you see it's properly applied okay very good now uh, earlier we calculated the volume of uh, the cotton field now this one also we can calculate it so we select one of our cross section okay and then go to the compute materials okay here and we will have only one alignment only one group okay so we say okay and here i will click on add new material okay i have another video also on calculating the road structure material so you can go and watch it will be in the description below so you can go and watch it as well so how we can do the principle remains the same for these okay so i will say add new material okay add new material and here quantity take of type i will change change it it's not cut it's structures i will say structures okay and then here on the data type that we have i will say corridor shape okay and here i will select select the appear something hasn't been updated okay So okay, so this has been uh, the the slope has been applied, but we can't see the material yet. I think we missed something. So that's something that we missed. So let's go and check it. So we select our delighting and go to the properties. And here uh, I will scroll down and see what we missed. So, okay, ah here you see the placed line material. We did all of these, but did not place line materials. We have to place it. So where we are to place it? So you see it says all links, delight links, or fill links only. When you are applying throughout your alignment certain with this conditional you know so then you will have options so you want to apply to fill links only okay because in the fill links you will have uh, the grassing and everything to do in that links only or all the daylight links you want to apply this particular condition for the uh, placing the line materials okay or all the links okay so for right now but i will just choose like that's all links it's and then uh, i have to now again if you go to the prospector type we have to update the corridor okay so i will just hit escape twice then select the corridor and reveal the corridor okay so once the corridor 
So once the corridor is rebuilt, now let's go back the cross section and then see if it's placed or not. Okay. Now you see it has been placed. Okay, correctly. So now what we can do is uh, we just can calculate the volume uh, as uh, we did for others. Okay. So let's do it. We select one of the seats and then we come here. Go to the compute materials and then we have selected our alignment, only one group that we have, and then say okay. And here. Uh, let's remove this particular and we'll add a new material okay so if you watch my previous video where i've calculated the rule structure you will know how to do this okay so i just select this this one and then say uh add slope for this one for slope okay so i just put it like slope okay and then here quantity type i change it to structures okay and data type i will change it to corridor say and here i will have option so now you see we have you see the riprap first one is not placed okay so it's too low to place it okay so we we have only on the slopes the uh, the lines are only on placed on the slope so we just select the riprap tool that i named and then click okay and then i will say see the grass that was the third material that we had for another slope so you can define three materials uh, in the default ones okay so these are fine okay and i will say apply and say okay but uh, we can't see this yet okay here so no problem for that what we're going to do is again uh select our cross section and go to the group properties and from here uh change volume e okay we'll click on this and the new in the window here we have the list this is the previous one okay so i'll just remove this and then add the new one okay here for the material that we have and say add and we'll this time we'll have all these selected and say okay and then this i will keep it as it is uh no change and say apply okay so say okay apply okay so now here uh, you will see if the material is same uh, as we did in only one so okay the material is same it will calculate like this okay so you can verify it with this material selection you select this material and see how much is the area okay here in the properties also you go and see it says 0.88 square meter 0.88 square meter okay and the volume is calculated so cumulative volume will be there at somewhere okay somewhere where it ends so from that cumulative volume you can just divide it with the thickness and then you will get the area okay of the line materials so this is one of the way and uh, right now we did only one only one uh, material okay if we have different materials so what you can do it select yours again cross section again and go to compute materials and again here right now we we'll put it in the one so i will just remove the seated grass from here and i will call this riprap okay so we call it uh, by the name material riprap okay and another material i will add and the process is same i will just again say the structures okay and this one we will call it grass okay like that and then here again data type we'll select corridor shape and go to seeded grass okay and say okay, apply here and we'll include and say okay, apply apply okay now again we'll repeat the process to get it things here okay uh so that there is no issue you know i normally remove it and then add it again volume so there's no issue and everything is updated so remove and then tutorial material table and then say add and here you have the materials and okay and again say apply that will be replaced and say okay and apply okay so now you will have materials and uh, separate columns okay separate rows okay so how much is grass and how much is so now when you select it earlier when you select it was one okay so you see these two materials are highlighted here and here so these are uh probably let's check which one it is properties and 0.54 so which one is 0.54 it's a riprap okay and the grass you have is only here okay so you see it's flatter i put it to grass so uh, you can have multiple materials and this is the way you can calculate we can just have uh the volume at the end where it ends so which is our end point is around this so we, we can have a cross section here and then till from that beginning point to the end point you will have the volume Okay, so for right now we have only cross sections till 1260 and later on 1280. So in this one we will see it. So let's go 1280, 1280, 1280. This one here. Okay, so here. So how much riprap you have is 54.37 cubic meter. Uh, my volume calculation is in cubic meter. Our unit is SI here. So I will just have to divide it by my thickness of uh, that riprap that we are placing as we earlier defined as 100 mm. So that would be the area of your riprap and the grass area will be like this. So this is where you can calculate uh, the slope areas like this. So hope this helps. Uh, see you guys in a new video with a new tutorial. Uh, hope you like the video, like, share, subscribe to our channel. 
and have a great day.